Let's learn how to read text from a file and save it in a string variable and strip new lines. Let's understand this example. I'm using the Python's context manager and then opening the file as the variable file and then I'm creating a variable data and I'm simply reading all the lines. And let's see first our text file. And as you can see, the text file is pretty simple. There's nothing great going on around here. All you, we have is characters A, B, C, D, D, E, F and I, J, K. Each set of these characters are on different lines. And basically when I try to read, do the function that is file dot read lines and print it the data. As you can see, we get the data in the form of a Python list. And as you can see, this trailing space slash ends, that is the next lines being present. But we do not want that to happen. We want our output to look something like this. So let me just type that down and show you A, B, C, D, D, E, F and I, J, K. So basically we want our whole output to be present in a st single string rather than this method that's happening down to us. So basically if I try to do this and change the function from read lines to read, I can get part of the solution covered. So now you can see I'm getting the data returned as a string, but again, because of the slash in that each a set of characters are going to the next line and that's not what I want. So basically what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to use the replace function and it's going to search inside the text file for the character that is slash in and I'm simply going to replace it with a single that is a blank quotation. And as you can see now we get our desired output. So once again, let's try to understand what happens. First, we are opening the file as a context manager. And then we save data inside this variable data and we are using the files dot read method, but then we are getting a string method obtained. Now we are getting a string obtained, but it consists of the slash and character. Hence we are using the strings re dot replace method and we're replacing the slash n with a blank empty space. And that is how we can print this sequence of characters in the form of a string in Python. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Akinon's YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos.